Hello, this is Krillin, and welcome to episode 30 of my Let's Play Total War Attila as the White Huns in our Weekend Warrior campaign. Uh, last time we were about to attack here, we had won at Orcs Hinkus, although it took us falling back and uh, and reloading to do an excellent job. Uh, this looks like a pretty good army, actually. Um, this one I almost think... It's going to be a painful fight, just because these dudes can do a lot of damage. Um, we'll have to try to wreck their, uh, their, um, artillery. Hmm. Now, when we looked at this, this city had, uh, some major damages already. So... Should not be difficult to deal with um, to get in and fight. Uh, let's fight and see how we do. I've not had a fight against this many siege engines. They can really do a job on it. So maybe try to uh, get rid of as much of their uh, ammo as we can. They have a lot of cavalry actually, two, four, six, seven cav. Plus the like four dudes in the garrison that are on forces. Uh, in theory there are a bunch of destruction and the walls. It would be really nice if they were uh, heavily damaged to make life easier. This army is not as experienced as the other. But Sunika is a level 10 general. He really does a lot for them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pause it until we get to the actual battlefield. So, one moment. Okay, we are just reached here. Uh, we don't want fog. So let's wait. It's being very difficult to figure out what our next possible weather will be. Uh, no rain. Does not serve our purposes. Okay, let's start our deployment. Let's see what we have. Okay, so the gates there are strong. Huh. Hmm. Now they may come out at us. I'm gonna put this right here. We want to be able to start hitting a tower without it hitting us. So we're just gonna back up a little bit more this way because we should be able to start hitting that tower without getting hit this one. Unfortunately, like all the towers up, even if they're. Uh, other stuff is down, so that could be problematic. I'm gonna bring these guys back here and we're gonna group them up. And I really have no need for you to be anywhere near this fight, so you can come hang out in the back. Start the battle. Okay, did they. Okay, they did not do anything too annoying, so let's just start trying to wreck this. How oh, well are we going to do? He had the done enemy approaches. horribly there. Couple hit. Huh. I need to pause the game. Hello, and we're back. Um, so, let's stop firing at this for a moment. Uh, I think we'll be better off if we got closer. We can move, like, all the way up to here. And be a lot better able to fire. Uh... Assuming we don't start getting launched at. We're at 40%. I really kind of need to be 
both of these this turn if I want to attack. Otherwise, I have to pull back. So, let's pick one unit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unpause the video. You guys are going to come this way. You, I need you to come here. Go to, uh, fight formation, loose formation, and come out to here. Let's see if we're going to start getting shot at. If we are, we're going to need to break up our stuff. Don't see any shots being fired at us. Okay, so you Orders! move closer. We'll speed this up. Either we're going to take this out fairly quickly or we're not. We can come up further. They have all these, uh, onagers and stuff. I somewhat surprised we're not seeing them. You guys come here. Got a heavy shot. You fire there now. Okay. You should begin just crushing these guys, but they're almost dead already. They were almost dead before we even started. That's so sad. How do they? How were they even like? controlling this shit. Okay, back off. How are you doing? Have we hit this? Okay, good. We're so not going to be able to finish the whole thing. Okay. You attempt to kill that. And when you fail, we'll walk off the mat and come back to finish it, because... I really need to be able to move over without just getting crushed by the tower. Okay, you. Drop it. Do this for the battle. All of you guys. Come over here. And we'll just do this again. Because it's very sad I cannot take two towers out. Or it's very sad with all these breaches that there was not a place where I could just take one tower out and be okay. seeing their army. They must have, they must be camping their army and stuff in the middle. Uh, it could be very brutal. Okay, go ahead and withdraw. You can withdraw too. We'll be back. I don't mind draws. What I mind is getting this army crushed because we have a lot of enemies. And, uh, they lost 98 dudes. These were nowhere to be seen, and that is a bit of a problem. I would have preferred that they were out where I could waste their ammo, because... Yeah, they can do a ton of damage really, really fast to us. I really think... I'm really thinking maybe just auto-resolving this because of all these onagers. They're not coming out to play. How bad would auto resolve be? Not would be that bad. Hmm. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to come in and, uh, Try to stop them. I really wish that whoever had beat up this army before had taken out a bunch of those onagers. Yeah, doesn't matter. You. Uh, just withdraw. 
And then we have plenty of movement to come back and try this again with more ammo. Because that's really the only uh, thing that holds us back is limited ammo. The Hunnager needed almost twice what it had to take out that second tower. Hopefully the damage remains in the same place, in which case we'll just do the exact same thing. Uh, we did kill the entire garrison navy. It wasn't really a big navy, but we did do it. Okay. Second verse, same as first. So hopefully better. Hmm. I think they got better. This is odd because they killed so few people. But. Okay. I want to get this done. I'm going to start the deployment. Oh, that one. That's interesting. It got like totally rebuilt while we were away, and it wasn't even their turn. Well, it's not totally rebuilt, I mean it's massively damaged. So we should be able to break both of those, and then getting through a wall won't be too hard. Uh, we are going to start you for the back. On the offhanded chance something appears there. Uh, General. You go hang in the corner. Grab all these guys, fill them together. Get into the proper line. So that we can be good. And we'll start the battle. Okay. You. Come up to here. Going to lose formation. Come to here. That's us. We don't seem to be in any of their range. Okay, so this will fall pretty easily, and then we can just use our our dudes to wreck everything. Oh, here we go. There they are. You get back. Run, curse you! Get running! You guys, I can bring you up to right here. Call up! Run, curse you! It's running! We're gonna play Dodge and Rocks. So that we can attempt to mm, dodge them when we're in loose formation and not fighting other it's things. Running. Which is preferable. It's running! You, by the way, you don't fight well. Oh no, I told you to come right here and I meant to go right there. Oh, we lost the dude there. Run, curse you! Oh, that one sucked. Oh, miss. So that's okay. It's running. Warriors, move out. Get moving. Move it. That lost another one. Curse you. Warriors, move out. 
Oh, that was a direct hit. I think they're bringing another one up. So taking all this ammo on one unit is the way to go. Let's go. I think that one's firing too. Warriors, up. It's running. Forward. It's running. Warriors, up. Forward. Should be running out of ammo. We're still showing us having shots coming at us, but I'm not seeing any. Let's come back. You? Pick up that tower. Oh, hit the tower. Doesn't take much to drop it at this point. I'll take out this tower. We have destroyed the enemy tower! Come forward. For the eternal sky! Move it! Anything for the gods! Let's see. Uh, they're out of it. There's another Onager here. Okay, so now the other Onager is going to start firing. You guys stop. That's Well, it said it was firing, but I don't seem to be being fired at. It's running. You? No, right, come back here. Call on Yeah, you are being fired, so come back. Okay, time to use up another Onager's worth of this stuff. And that'll be both of the Onagers. Is this Onager firing or not? It says it's firing. Heck, it's using a bunch of ammo. You guys. Come here. I think that'll be safe. There we go. Let's speed this up a little bit just because uh, it's not fun to really just sit here and watch me play at dodge rocks all day. But they can simply do too much damage if I don't dodge them. Taking the time to do this well allows me to keep moving and not have to fall back to camp forever. So we don't get necessarily the greatest recovery. Just have to be erratic. Try to watch for those uh, smoke trails to dodge them when they come. Oop, that was a terrible hit. If we take out two of their best units by just dodging them, that's pretty amazing. You? Can we get flying there? That was good. Excellent. That you do not fallen. move. Good news! You. This way the gatehouse. Were they out of ammo? 
I'm not sure. Okay, that was a good first barrage. Almost broke the gatehouse already. Okay, the you. Gates are destroyed. Forward. You uh. All right, what's on the wall? Okay, let's take our army and bring them up. A unit has fired all of its ammunition. You get back in the tight formation. Got a heavy shot and just kill this Ballastari. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Okay, now I come this way. And there's another Ballastari unit. We need to kill this other Ballastari unit. It needs to die, so that it doesn't do a lot of damage to us. Kill this Ballastari, but we're focusing on everything else. There we go, some people are actually shooting the Ballastari now. We are just wrecking them. The enemy have rallied their units! I don't really care about that. Oh. The enemy are losing their advantage! Taking that Churro Ballistra out really fast. You guys. We are taking some damage. Possibly from like... Come on, back up and get into better formation. Yourselves more like this. Start playing at this one. Just back off. Get back. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. The unit has rallied! Uh, got a flaming shot. Most of what's left is... is cab. We have pretty much nuked their spears, so... When we charge in here, it won't be too bad.
you're getting shot at. Let's all go in. We should beat Scout Equities very quickly. Kill this before it get, does too much damage to us. We have claimed the gates! Forward! Almost managed to finish off all this. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle! You, where are you? You've taken him with challenge. Get back out of there. You guys can also just run away. What is your answer? Oh. We're we're taking a bunch of damage from these stupid areas. You know what? Let's just go stand here. Has been destroyed. This bodes well. You, I told you to leave. What are you doing fighting there? The victory point will soon be ours. Hey there. Why did the injured dude go in? I told him to leave the battle. Oh well. He was just too gung-ho for victory, I guess. Uh, 129 losses. Not great. Not terrible. I thought these could have gotten a lot more kills. So I'm happy with that. To be honest, most of our kills were caused by our own archers. Getting out of position and shooting each other. But, with the exception of the first unit, everyone is kind of evenly damaged. Which is good. That'll let them heal better while in camp. And our th bar is moving fairly quickly today. Hope I don't jinx it. Huh. So, it took two tries to get the destruction we needed. And somehow they rebuilt the walls in the my turn, which was weird. But not bad, not bad overall. Okay, let's see what we can get out of here. Decisive victory, not not shocker. Uh four thousand is worth sacking. How can I help? Um, oh, let's look at our victory conditions. So we of course want this. Uh, 
200 units. That's going to take a lot of hordes. Um, we need to raid a ton. I'm tempted to just leave the city here to rebuild and raid it a ton. I mean, we can deal with it if they build an army. Problem is, who would do the raiding? I think the answer is my dinkiest horde. Like this dude. This dude could sit there within range of another and just raid it. Out of curiosity, what is your... Oh, we've already moved you. I think that was the last thing we can do this turn. So let's go ahead and uh, look briefly at diplomacy and see how we're doing. We are ranked 6th. The Eastern Romans are ranked number 1. Separatists are 2. Huns are 3. We're at war with almost everyone. Right. Okay, um, let's look at this. Can I get anyone to be a, uh, Grand Despoiler? Really, really love another Grand Despoiler. Where are you? Arabia Magna. For the gods. I need you to come and actually lead battles. Because I want you to... I, you have the better stats, so I want you to be my next king. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We have a tradition that can be very useful. Missile attack rate's not bad. Uh, we need ammunition. Uh, we really want this one too eventually. But more ammunition, 4% more ammunition, can be quite useful. If we get two more arrows out of that, or one more arrow out of that, it's totally worthwhile. So, that's in the turn. The Ostrogoths rolled in. That's interesting. Am I at war with the Ostrogoths? I don't know. But letting them build up the region... Probably worthwhile. They're not a... I don't think they were a horde. Or a um, nomadic horde. Because I didn't see the little circle. So they probably have other regions. Could be problematic, I tell you. Could be very problematic. Come on, Huns, finish up so we can move on. Armies to move and things to do. The Huns are apparently taking a very long time. really send three armies up into Eastern Rome. That would be terribly difficult. Morian Zafatia. Hmm, what do you think he's trying to do? He didn't get any level. He didn't die either, so... Who knows? We're almost through all of this. Uh, they had a critical success to deceive us, so we're not doing anything this turn. Not with that army. I need to come over here. You... I kind of just want to finish and burn this region to the ground. They got most of their troops back, so we will have to fight that one. Can't get around that. Um, you need to progress north. I bring you to here. 
Um, Your next command? A little bit more. Then we'll encamp. Can't build anything. But that's fine. Really need uh, to build up the communal grounds, build more communal grounds, build more. Uh, another yurt thing. More industry. So much to build. Let's go to our next army. Okay, you. Um. I'll just leave you right here. Can I deploy you there? Come here, can I deploy you there? Nope. Cannot. You. Come this way. You. Come out of encampment. Come to there. Hemiar looks like they're going to be expanding. That's fine, it's just more to burn down later. And if they do it, it gives me more money. Okay, at 14 units. Let's see, how much do they have? 14? I don't know if I need to build you any more troops. Quite yet. When you get closer to the front, you of course need more. Um... That needs eight. We have a bunch of stuff that needs four. We'll be building that. Okay, uh, you're done. You're deployed, you're fine. Um, you... Come more this way. Okay, you... You've gained stuff. Go for that cunning. Okay. I'm not making a lot of money. You're in that region, though, which means I don't really want to be in that region. Or we can move him, too. So let's put this guy around right here. Gods be praised! Excitement! You have more orders. And he can encamp there. Um, nothing to build for him at the moment. This will provide growth, which is important. If I build that, does it increase growth? It does, but I don't have 40 food. Okay, you. Come to like right here. On the move, lads! Ready for more orders. Encamp away. Uh, build the meat cure. And so we do have a little bit of money. Let's recruit you. Uh, we do the spet archer. Do this dude. 55 missile damage to one speed is a uh, 95 to 95 plus melee attack but better melee damage we'll build you a couple of these and then we can get rid of the stupid sling this way at least you're we need to get these armies up to at least be mild threats, I think. We built something we did. You've already gone. You... Yeah, come around here. Okay, you... This region isn't going to produce a whole lot. So I think I just burn it to the ground. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna attack. Uh, by necessity, we're gonna fight this. Uh, we'll just our our leader will just get nuked if we don't. So, although I'm not doing this as a Vinny Vidivici or whatever you want to call it game where we fight everything, 
we do need to fight pretty much everything. Unless the garrison is destroyed. And this garrison is really big considering I, I wiped it out a turn ago. They have four cav, three spear, four spears and a sword. Quite a bit. Now we'll be able to do all of it with our these dudes. Uh, I don't know if they'll come out, so I may need to set this up to destroy a tower before I go in. And we are going to just raise Oxher Himikus this turn. Start a deployment. Okay, you. The settlement is almost a ruin. They have no towers. Well, in that case, I really don't need you. You can be way over here, far away from anything that might be construed as uh, dangerous. We're gonna group these guys up. We're going to. Uh, Form the proper line. Then we'll start the battle. We'll go with heavy shot to begin with. Nope, Cav's coming. So we'll go back to flaming shot. And we'll do that. As we... Wreck the heck out of this cab. Back up a little bit so that we can wreck this cab as they come in. Yeah. That's some fun stuff. Next cab unit. We'll move closer. This guy's already about to break. You know, if I was a bunch of spears, I would have stayed in the... We never didn't have the upper hand. Don't give them so much credit. To the battle. Back up a little bit. Come more like this. There we go. They don't have nearly enough troops here. The number of arrows that we have to uh, hand off. Go ahead and go to heavy shot. There we go. Easy battle. We should not have lost anyone there. Eleven. I wonder if that was friendly fire. Yeah, they didn't kill any. Oh, they killed one. We lost ten dudes to friendly fire. I really think it's sad how many of my guys have I lost to friendly fire. But you know, rampaging horsemen riding through the hills. It's a thing. A lot more of my guys are getting um, their fifth chevron. These, these are falling behind. We're just out of the action. Sad these guys got close enough to even throw javelins, but oh well. Ernak, another decisive victory. Which 
really probably just go and kill him, Yar. They are sending me money. Problem is they have enough troops that they're probably not going to stick around as a, um, as a, my servants for long. They remember that we kept killing them, not that we allowed them to survive. Uh, decisive victory. Uh, we're going to raise this now. There's just no reason not to. Can you encamp? Good, encamp. Okay. Alexandria. Settlement strength is bad. There's at least one breach. They have very little on the way to garrison. They have a navy force here. That would be easy to wipe out. Ready for action. Do I let them fix it up? For the gods. The curiosity if you raid. Take everything. We do not get more. How much am I getting off of this rating? Hmm. I have to attack them to move. Is this an enemy? Yeah. Well, the question is, how much am I getting by rating? So currently I'm at 7... 38. And that is quite a bit of raiding. We're gonna raid. 500 a turn. We need a ton of raiding and revenue uh, to continue or to uh, to win the game. And there's a limit to places that are probably worth raiding. Uh, I'm gonna go down to one or two of these. Ready for battle! You've already moved. For the gods. The shadows are free. I'm pretty sure you already moved. Let's double check. Yep, you moved. Things to attend to. Um that leaves one dude down here. Warriors all. Oh, you did move. How can I help? Okay, um... I'm not sure how much... They bring in 1,200. Having them raid would be probably much better than having these guys raid. Oh, you're building two things. Uh... No, we need that. Build away. <laughs> The Ostrogoth Navy isn't going to do anything. We need money. Oh, let's end the turn. I want them to kind of fix up Alexandria, because we can do the same thing we did before. Attack several times, rip them, rip apart the holdings. There is a time when warriors must sheath the sword and talk for the good of their people. You become my tributary. Only the. If you became my tributary, I would have let you survive. They're like, you know, no. Oh, they ran away. That's great. Just leave the city there to put money in the city. In a few turns, I will sack it again when it stops smoking. It's a good sign when it stops smoking. Huh. I need this horde to move to around here to prevent rivalry issues. Rivalry issues are something we do need to concern ourselves with. Oh, they hate my poor priest. They hate him, I say. Our yeah, whatever. If you declare war on me, I get plus one to my integrity. I'm okay with that. Since everything, integrity is, half my stuff just costs me integrity. 
kind of a weird mechanic, but it works. Um, oh no, another one was killed. They deceived me again. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't find it awkward at all. Okay, you. For the gods. Um, come to here first. Sword of my people. Is that so? Okay, cross the border. Now it's already been destroyed, which is fine. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That will allow us to move this other army up without having rivalry penalties. Um, wrong, wrong area. We were going to go do something. So let's see. If I move you to right here. Ten gray guides my steps. Is that all? And begin raiding. But you can still 300 gold, but you're just. For the gods. You're actually not the one that I need to do that. You are not. I don't see the line of demarcation between this region and that one. Um. Because you actually are the bigger one. So we need you to get out of that. Come back to here. And then a camp. You, who are dinky as all, get out. I need huge amounts of turn just to grow. Come to... to there. We're going to have him raid this region for a while. Well, my other hordes to do other thingies. Okay. You. You can improve to that, which we definitely want to do. And then you can come out of that, and we can march you to, like, say, right here. Move out! You have more orders? Come to here. A little bit more. Your next command. You have to eke out every little piece of movement you can and still try to encamp. That was actually cutting a bit close though. Um, still he's getting close to being able to actually come over here and help with stuff. Uh, that will be good. More money and bonus wealth for my, my uh, two industrial buildings. I should really save up four points with that. I need to remember to do that. Bonus growth. I need to focus on building these two up. That'll be my next eight growth. So many things to build up. I can't build that until all those are level four, I think. This one, it'll be a long time before we get that. We're working on our economy. Uh, what does this do? Not so good. We're, we're going for the six turns plus 50 food. I think that's hopefully for everyone and not just factional. But we'll see. Uh, you're fine where you are. You just wander over right here. Um, you're fine. I guess you can move back this way. Try to keep an eye on what could be coming at our hordes. We have an exhumed force here, but it's a fleet, so not a big deal. Come, sit, share my fire. You. Thought I moved you. Do I just talk about moving you? Nope, there are a bunch of people that did not move. Oh, I did move you. I just haven't moved this guy. That's that you went. No, I've not moved you. I need to be over there. Ready for action. Come right here. Get moving. Is there nothing else? In camp. 
Come through and here. Sword of my people. Ready for more. Um, you can come up a little bit more. And then I will camp you. Can't move it. Need to eke out all of the movement we can while still getting what we need to taken care of. You. You're one turn away from having that built. Your horde is almost per perfect. What do I need for this? That. That will still be a little while. All it gives me is a royal yurt. What does a royal yurt do? Um, 400 gold, elephants, and a ton of integrity. This dude's almost... I, I, almost entirely entirely done and then all he'll be able to do is basically pump out um, ever more uh, things we are getting extra food from here I may hold off on that one until I see if I need that to be bigger because we want this to get all the way up um, Sorry, hitting my microphone there. Yeah, we want this to go all the way up, so we need to find out. Uh, 130 food. So that's 90 food more. This is not going to provide me food, and this is what's going to take up. So I need 130 more food than I currently have, and these two are producing food. And that's good. So this, we're going to do another sheep, and then we'll convert that to sheep. Because that's producing 120 food. Ugh. I don't know if I'll be able to get away from sh a goat pen. I may need the goat pen, and just do one more sheep pen. And that's also going to take up another 40 food. Now we are getting 50 food, so maybe with the other 50 food we'd be okay. And I'd be cutting them very close without another food place. Okay, you're done. Let's just quickly go... Th nah. We're gonna, uh... We're gonna end the turn, and then we'll end the video after the end turn. Assuming there's no fight. The battle axes are going to hit Alexandria next turn, I think. Because they need to be able to get away from it. Then we'll leave Alexandria to just be raided by a, one of the small armies. While the other three come out. We'll leave one army, probably the one further south, to come up and defend the two smaller hordes. And leave the other three to sweep across Africa. Now, we are going to be getting closer to more enemies, so we'll need to to try to get our spies out there to watch for incoming armies. Not that I'm really afraid of one stack, but I mean, if we get hit by two or more, it can be more of a problem. There's a limit to how many we can kill, basically one load of arrows. It's a lot. We can kill a lot with one load of arrows, but there's a limit. So we'll just have to be careful about progressing forward, making sure that we're supporting our our rear as well. And just burn Africa down. Hmm. Lots of factions left. We need to take out 28 more factions. Really, I honestly think the hardest part is it's going to be raiding for 300,000 gold. Oh, we've lost someone. Um, but hey, I'm not sure which one this is, but at least we kept that. You have a lot of authority, not so much zeal. You are terrible in Union 59. Um, you are not great. We could but my king wow, he is still seven six six. He's so good. 
So let's put someone younger. Um, you're young and have a decent stat, so we'll go with you. Uh, Hispania's gone. They've misdirected the army. Uh, Sunica. Oh! Sunica died. Yeah. <laughs> my my king, Kalingzia, outlived him. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we're going to end the video here, so like and subscribe, and we'll be back next week, I believe. This is This was episode 30. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back with episode 31 next Saturday. Uh, adios.